We have already covered shipping and purchase orders, but there is a third type of order in iPoll, work orders. These orders allow you to assemble items and add them to your inventory. In order to talk about them, however, we must first understand assets and bills of materials. Assets are tools and other objects owned by your organization that are used in the completion of work orders. This could include hand tools, cars, or factory equipment. To help you keep track of them, iPoll has an assets page where you can create and modify assets. You can find it under the inventory column of the inventory tab. You can create a new asset with the create asset button or edit an existing asset record with the edit button. This page lets you set details about each asset, such as its description, owner, and asset tag. Note that unlike item IDs, asset tags are changeable after an asset record is saved, although it still must be unique. You can also use parent asset to show hierarchies, such as a toolbox containing multiple tools. There's a lot of information that can be set in this page, and to prevent this video from going on too long, we won't go into too much detail, but there are more details on all of these fields in the manual. Click on the Save button to save your asset when you're done editing it, and click on the Retire button to remove an asset from the asset list and set it to your retired status. Click List to go back to the list. Bills of materials allow you to set what items are needed to create a manufactured item. You can access them by going to the Bills of Material page on the Inventory column of the Inventory tab. Note that in order for a work order to be made for an item, you need to have a bill of materials already made for that item. In order to have an item assembled, you need to set that it is a make on its item record page. Then you can click on it using the assembly drop box and see which items are needed to make it using the fields below. To select a new item, click on the three dots icon and pick an item from the list. Use the critical box to check whether an item is necessary for an assembly or optional. Units determines how many of a unit are consumed in production and yield is how many of the final product are produced by a unit. Labor hours and cost help determine the cost in time and money of a work order. Hit save when you are done editing the bill of materials. Now that we know what we need to assemble our products, let's make some using an assembly work order.